Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me on this course to learn how to plan a awesome SAS explainer animation. So let's get started. First we need to define your purpose. Usually us at Animation Studios will give you a creative brief with some questions to get, um, get details about what you need. So first think about your elevator pitch. You know that thing uh, you say at network meetings to describe your SaaS product or service in 60 seconds or shorter. Uh, so mine is very simple. I make animations for people who want to explain something complex in under a minute. Probably a bit less than 60 seconds, but oh well. Next, think about who your target audience is. Old, young, B2B, B2C, male, female, techie, not techie, and most importantly, their needs and wants. Try and think about some of their emotions as well, that really helps. Next, think about what problem they have and how your product or service solves it. Try to think of three benefits your customer will get from using your SaaS service. How about how they get started? What steps do they need to take in order to get those benefits? Or even just the steps to sign up? How about tone, serious or comical or a mix of both? And finally, what's the end goal? What's the call to action? These videos are usually used as hooks, so maybe it's to sign up for a free trial or enter a competition to win a year's subscription for free. Okay, so in this one, we are going to cover the importance of keeping it short and KISS, which is a military term for keep it simple stupid. Uh, which now I, I believe is keep it simple silly uh, because people now get offended by things. So the overall point is the less you say, the more memorable it is. So resist the urge to explain every feature. Remember, this is an introduction to your service. So it's a, it's a hook um, to get them to come to your site and sign up or follow a call to action of some form. Think of it this way, if you are on a date and you blurted out every single detail about yourself, there is no more fantastic surprises for your date to find out in the future. So keep some of the mystery to yourself for now. A tip later when you write your script is to aim for about 160 words. That is usually the reading speed for about 60 seconds um, of animation. If you need a little bit more time, don't worry, 90 to 120 seconds uh, can still be very effective. Just remember, the longer the video goes on for, the higher the chance the possible customer will get bored and leave. Um, in today's world, we all have very, very low attention spans. And the other thing is to keep it simple. So try to keep uh, to this structure you see here. So the problem address the pain your customers are having uh, and that's for the first 20 seconds so remember emotion is very important there um, the solution introduce your product or service as the answer um, and that's uh, about five seconds there um, and how it works briefly uh, describe how it works uh, or how you can get started and that's about 25 seconds there and finally, a call to action, tell people what to do next. So is it to sign up? Is it to enter a competition? Or is it uh, something completely different? Okay, in this slide, it's all about how we need to highlight the benefits, not the features. I know it's hard to do because you have been creating these awesome features for years and your service is very clever and uses ingenious tech. Personally, I love that stuff, but try not to get too technical just yet. So resist the urge to list all the features. Um, instead, what are the benefits your customers are about to get? Benefits are more emotional things. And as we know, that is much more of an effective pulling machine. It allows the viewer to imagine how their lives will be better. Uh, for example, instead of 100 gigabyte of uh, cloud storage optimized for photos, um, you can say uh, you could do what Dropbox does and say um, store 100 gigabytes of your family photos and memories uh, safely on our cloud server. 
Okay, uh, tips for a top script. Um, this is the driving force of the animation. So take what you have learned so far and apply it um, to your entire script. Uh, keep in mind what I said earlier, um, about 160 words a minute or 240 words for 90 seconds. And just get, just get writing. Um, if you if you go over your word limit, don't panic at this moment. Um, that is completely normal. Um, write out what's in your head and then tick off the lessons learned in this course. The next step is to collaborate with your team, um, create mind maps, and listen to um, everyone's opinions on it. Um, and and also try and get uh, feedback from people outside the team too. Um, so friends, family, they're all, uh, they're all great to get, um, uh, someone who doesn't actually understand, um, the product or service, that's really good as well, um, because you can test it on them and see if they, if you, uh, if they read it, uh, now, now they actually understand the product. Um, once you have all this, uh, rewrite the script and condense it, uh, to fit, um, your target word limit. Okay, so picking a style. There's uh, lots of different styles to choose from uh, through animation, and I'll go through um, just a couple um, of um, of our explainer animations as well. Um, so we've got clean animations, so very nice, clean, single-line animations. Um, they're beautiful, they're modern, they're simple, um, but very creative because there's not much to work from uh, to try and tell a story using just a couple of lines it's relatively difficult uh, and I'll show you one of those in a second uh, character use a character or, or many characters um, to lead the story um, and software we can also show your software inside the journey itself normally I would say be careful of that one just in case your software uh, interface ever changes um, uh, it, it, it can sometimes uh, affect the longevity of uh, your video. So let's have a look at a couple of animations very quickly. So it's just on YouTube. When was the last time you did something for the first time? So this is very cool. So yeah, this is a clean animation using a single line and uh, with a nice animate, um, nice voiceover over the top using multiple contrast there. Um, and yes, so this is this is what we made, and as you can see, we're using nice transitions in between, um, nice, simple, clean, modern, um, and nice and creative. I think these are really good. They stand out much better than whiteboard animations. We don't go near those things for a very good reason. Okay, so let's see also this one so this is a character also motion graphics animation using really bright colors to capture people's attention um, that's one a, a really important thing um, to have a look at when you're looking at style um, capturing attention is what it's all about so yep so this one's a, a nice character animation so the characters are, are leading us through the storyline there okay we'll move on to this one so here we go, this is called Girl Effects. I'll turn that off for a second. And as you can see, this is more, this is sort of type, uh, typography um, mixed with uh, sort of a, um, a painted style or graphic style kind of thing. And we've got a bit of 3D there. Uh, it's actually 2D, 3D, so it's fake 3D. Um, and yep, as you can see, lots of nice, uh, nice animations in between. Kind of a small character as well to bring us through, uh, but also still um, um, modern and clean. Um, next one, so this one is another one. This is like a poverty, poverty thing. So we've got you know nice animation, nice character, a bit like the other one as well. Um, so we're kind of like explaining something rel uh, pretty relatively complex. It's quite a long video. This one is more of an informational one rather than an explainer or a hook. Um, let's have a look at this one. Oral analytics. As you can see, this this one's got some great design to it. Um, so this is using pretty much like everything. This is using um, really strong 
um, strong colors and very unique um, uh, uh, very unique characters um, as well and very unique style a bit of 3d there lots going on in there lots and lots going on pretty complex I would say uh, so it's not that simplistic clean style um, but there's a lot going on and it's very catchy but this is still quite simplistic and clean we always go for simplistic and clean we kind of we kind of like the um, Apple idea um, so Swapify, uh, this is this is a nice one as it's again nice and bright and it's using an app, uh, so perfect for you guys. Um, so yep, this is nice and clean, energetic, um, and really really bright. Uh, but it's using characters as well, um, so uh, not so much with just like a single line. So it's using a lot more details to tell the story there. Um, but still nice and creative. So now you have a great script and you have an idea on the sort of style you like. Um, let's talk about um, one of the things that probably gets overlooked uh, the most. Uh, voiceover, sound effects and music. A good professional voiceover is really important. Studies have shown that videos with bad audio are disliked much more than those with bad visuals. So use a professional with great equipment and with perfect diction. Remember to look through your scripts and highlight words that need emphasis. Um, what we do is we usually give you a questionnaire to fill out later. Uh, so the voiceover, no, uh, voiceover artist knows exactly what to do. Music is also super important too, as it sets the tone and pace for the video. Uh, fast and bouncy track means animations need to match this too and the voiceovers, uh, voiceover also needs to uh, match it as well. Finally, uh, sound effects we think improve everything and really adds drama and emphasis on the animation and can really, really improve overall production quality too. So congratulations, you are now all set uh, to get your dream explainer animation created. Um, but now much less fuss and you should save a ton of money and time too after going through this course. I have uh, attached another little tool for you below, uh, which is a studio comparison guide. Uh, take a look after this video ends. Um, basically, it will allow you to compare studios easily and make the right choice the, the first time. The one thing I'll say is to make sure that they have a process in place with unlimited changes and feedback allowed at each stage. You should be able to approve each stage before they move to the next. If they don't do this, you will end up backtracking and they will charge you for over time quite dramatically. Also, they should always use storyboards. They are incredibly useful and allow you to make changes fast. 90% of the changes should be made during the storyboarding stage, not during the animation stage, or you'll be waiting, say, like a week uh, between renders uh, just to see one tiny little small change. And of course, my tip is to use us. I'm not going to get too sousy here, but we have done this for years and have a really skilled and creative team waiting for you. If you would like more information, check our site out, poweranimate.com, uh, to see our um, animation process and have a look through our animations via the playlist. Finally, I invite you to scroll down and click on the book a call button uh, so that we can chat further about our services and um, creating you a great animation. Um, I'll also give you some great tips on lead generation tactics and even pre-launch ideas and I'll do this um, you know just for fun. So thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll chat to you soon.